Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ash. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install livery templates on CarX through Kino. I haven't seen any videos yet on this explaining how to do it. Uh, and it's a pretty cool way to get some Photoshop style liveries into CarX. To get started, we're going to assume you already have Kino installed and you're ready to go. Uh, from there, all you need to do is you need to find a livery template, the original livery, and also the object preset if the person that created the livery is using one at all on their car. To do that, uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the Killstreak Discord server. I've already posted a few in there, as you can see. Uh, first thing, again, that you need is going to be your livery template. So the first thing we're going to grab is the ER34 livery template right there. Then going to go ahead and scroll down to the original liveries. Go ahead and grab that again. And then down here you can find the object presets right there. Once you have all of that, you're going to go ahead and open up a couple of folders. Go ahead and set them up however you like. Find one for your downloads. And then get into your CarX folder. Make sure you go ZML, Mods, KN Base. From here, it's pretty easy and straightforward. For the object preset, which is going to be labeled as a KN OBJ file, you're just going to drag that and drop it right into the object presets. Then you're done. For the KN Viz file, this one's just going to go straight into your visuals folder. It's going to ask me to replace it. I'm not going to because it's already in there. For the template, though, you need to open up the visuals folder, and then you're going to put the KN live file, which is you can figure it out right there. You go ahead and drop that into the livery templates. Again, it's going to ask me to replace it, but I'm not going to. Once you got those files moved over, all you have to do is start your game up. All right, now that you've got your game loaded up, and you found the car in CarX that you're going to be working on, all you need to do is open up your Kino, which is going to be F4. First thing you're going to do is click on this Visuals tab right here. You're going to do Load slash Save Design. Click on Load Design. You'll find your files right here. Just click on whichever one you're doing. Now, it's important that you do Apply Design over Add Livery. If you add the livery, it's not going to give you the paint or anything. It's just going to give you what is there on the livery. What you want to do is apply design so that way it paints the entire car for you and you don't have to worry about figuring out the paint code if there's not ob or if there's not decals over the entire car. So go ahead and hit apply design. It's going to load it up. Some of them are going to look a little funny initially. Um, people are going to be using boxes and stuff just to figure out uh, in their Photoshop where the hood is at in the file so that way they can apply the decals or the design or whatever they're using accurately and have it displayed well. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the object preset. So all you need to do is click on your custom objects tab, go ahead down to the presets, then load preset. You can see files there again. Just going to go ahead and click on it. Now, from here, it's important that you do hit apply. If you don't hit apply, all it's going to do is it's going to ask you to save it. If you don't, and you hit no, it's going to take it all back off again. So now that we've got the object preset saved on there, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load the livery template. Again, you're going to go back to the visuals tab, hit livery templates, and then load template. Here are your files are going to be. Then you're just going to click on it. This one you don't have to hit apply for, but once you click on it, it's going to load it in for you, and you're all done. All right, guys, so that's pretty much everything for this video and explaining how to get livery templates into the game. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions on anything that you need a little bit more of an explanation for, just go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.